which in a sense, indeed, they were. Because without organic chemistry, the, the production of some of these synthetic compounds, no offense, Mike, um, wouldn't, have been, wouldn't, wouldn't have been possible. Um, evolution is, is such important for our understanding of who we are that I think it has been consistently misused and misinterpreted. Now, um, the, the nature of the eugenics movement, which started in, in Europe, and spread to and probably had its greatest flowering in the United States in the 1910s and 1920s was the idea that if selective breeding is the key to producing better races, as they were called, of animal, domesticated animals and domesticated plants, why not apply that to our own species? Why not decide who's fit to breed and who's not to breed? And then people might have looked back to Darwin and saying, here is the evolutionary justification for this. So I think evolution has certainly been misinterpreted and misused and abused in that respect. Interestingly, Darwin himself never lent any quarter to that whatsoever. Darwin was a, a profoundly non-racist guy. He shared the attitudes towards so-called inferior races that a lot of Victorians shared, but he also wrote passionately against slavery. He wrote passionately against the abuses of aboriginal natives in the British colonies and so forth. So I think the eugenics movement um, basically is wrong and went astray, not because of anything that comes directly out of evolution, but because of a failure to consider human rights and fairness and justice. The notion that anyone, whether in government or some, uh, some other sector, should assume reproductive control of another human being is something that I think most of us find deeply offensive, and that to me was at what was at the heart of the eugenics movement.